Good hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to be doing a video that is a little bit different than what I've seen anybody else do online. I'm sure other people may have done this, but if they have, I haven't seen it. First things first though, if you enjoy the content that I make on this channel, I would highly suggest that you subscribe. Subscribing is the best way to ensure that YouTube is going to show you the videos that I am making. If you wanna get a notification when I post, clicking the bell icon is going to give you a notification every single time that I post. So if you like the true crime videos that I'm doing or the miscellaneous other kinds of videos that I post on a Sunday that are 99.9% .9 about reading, then I would highly suggest that you click the subscribe button and then we can hang out more. I have discussed this on my channel before, but I am chronically bad at <laughs> starting a book and then not finishing it. But what I don't do is I leave it. So like I go through, I don't... I don't go through my currently reading on Goodreads. So I was on Goodreads yesterday and I noticed that I have quite literally 20 books on my currently reading. So I thought we would go through every single one of the books that I have on my currently reading from most recent to least recent, so the ones that have been there for the longest, and just, you know, take a look at all 20 of them, and I'll let you guys know if I'm actually still reading them. It'll be a good way for me to notify you guys and let you know what I'm actually currently reading so that you can know what to expect when you see my wrap-ups. So the first book on my list is actually Dune by Frank Herbert. I actually started this book the well, I started it a couple of weeks ago, but I only just added it to my currently reading on Goodreads. This is a book that I have wanted to read for a very, very, very long time. I just never got around to it because there's so many other science fiction books that I really wanted to read. But now that they're putting out the film, I feel like it's really pertinent for me to get to it because I want to be able to say I have read the book before I watch the film. Now, I know that the movie is technically apparently only the first half of the book, but I do want to crank through the book. So I have started it. I'm listening to it. I'm not listening to it. I'm reading a physical copy of it that I have. And so I added that to my to my currently reading and I actually am currently reading it. The next book I have on my currently reading is Aftermath by Chuck Wendig. This is the first book in the Aftermath Star Wars series. I'm about 42% of the way through this. I'm going to be honest though. I started this. I, I just added it to my currently reading, but I started it a few weeks ago and my audiobook for the library is about to be due. So I I don't know if I'm going to be able to extend it. So while I am technically currently reading it, um, I might not be continuing to currently read it. There may be a little bit of a break. I'm enjoying it. It's a little bit like it's it's not as good as Claudia Gray's Star Wars books. Like if you guys know anything about me and Star Wars books, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Star Wars books that Claudia Gray writes. So I'm enjoying it because I like Chuck Wendig's writing, but and I know that there's a big story going on, but I'm 42% of the way through and it's just really jumbled at this point and I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I don't really know what's going to happen. And I feel like by 42%, I should have a better grasp of exactly who and what is going on with the characters. And I'm just not there yet because there's just so many characters. So I'm hoping that I get there. I am going to push through it. It just may require me to wait a little bit so I can get the audiobook back from my library. The next book I have on my to be read is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I added this in July of this year. Um, I was really enjoying this. I liked it. And then it got super triggering. And I had seen a lot of people in July talking about this book. And I did not see a single person talk about how triggering one of the characters is. There's also a lot of like glorification of thinness in this book, which is something I tend to avoid. I already feel like there is way too little plus size representation. So when I read a mainstream book that has like a serious glorification of thinness from multiple characters... It, it, it jumps out as really problematic to me. So I haven't removed the guest list from my currently reading yet, but I likely will be DNFing it because I don't see myself, even though I'm interested in like, the whodunit aspect of the book, the number of like references to absolute thinness is like really just frustrating for me. So I will likely DNF this, who knows. The next book that I have on my two, my currently reading is The Only Good Indian by Stephen Graham Jones. Now this book, I 
literally started it, I got about I got about 20 minutes into the audiobook and it's not that I'm not going to finish it. It's that I wasn't feeling horror in that moment because I started it the day be- two days before I started the guest list. So I started The Only Good Indians with the intent of reading it. And then it was the middle of summer and I was like super interested in like and I was like super interested in a mystery book. So it wasn't really grabbing my attention the way I wanted it to grab my attention. And I really want to dedicate the amount of like time that the book deserves because from like the first 20 minutes of the book I was already intrigued I was interested I just wasn't in a horror mood and you know when I'm not in the mood for something I'm gonna inherently enjoy it less so I just took a break I'm gonna leave it on my currently reading because it is a book that I'm planning on reading I'm 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 thinking I'm probably gonna listen to the audiobook next month because it's horror and it's spooky but um yeah it just wasn't the right time for me personally because I just really wanted to consume a mystery book. I just get like real mystery book vibes in the summer. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I do. The next book on my list is Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. Now this book is really weird. I've been reading this book on and off and on for a few months. It's actually a short story compilation which is why you've probably seen it on my currently reading for a really long time. It's really heavy and some of the stories are better than the others. So when I first started it I busted through like three of the stories and then I came across one story that I just really didn't like and so I have put it on the shelf for a little while and then I'll listen to one story and then I'll put it down again so it's one of those books where it's like short stories so it's like taking me a little bit longer to finish I don't have much of it left I think I'm like 75% of the way through so I really do want to like crank through and finish this probably next month as well because they are definitely more spooky dark stories they're really interesting if you're interested in it's it's like a really gruesome like alternative fantasy way of looking at the pressures that are put on women and women's bodies in like so many various weird uncomfortable ways and it's just really well done like I said some of the stories are way better than others but overall I really enjoy it because it is a conversation about the the way women's bodies are owned in so many different ways and uh, it's just I really really do enjoy it overall so far so the next book on my list is <laughs> a beautifully foolish endeavor by Hank Green you guys know how much I loved the first book in that series which is um oh my god an absolutely remarkable thing. Why did my brain break on that? So I loved an absolutely remarkable thing and a beautifully foolish endeavor came out a couple of months ago. Honestly, I just haven't been in a sci-fi mood. So I started it and then I was like, I'm not really feeling this. And then I read Axiom's End, which is actually the last science fiction book that I have read. That's not true. I read another one in August, I think, but I don't even remember. But I was, I just, honestly, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I don't know why. I've just been like, frantically trying to finish all of these other books that I started I'm in this like really weird space where it's like I haven't I'm I'm not starting some books because I have so many books on my currently reading but then other books I'll just start even though and it just makes no sense so that's part of why I'm doing this video so I can really like Victoria you need to, to get your shit together um an absolutely remarkable thing was incredible and I'm so excited to hear about the rest of April and her friend's stories in a beautifully foolish endeavor I am gonna read this before the end of 2020 so yeah and once I start it I'll crank through in like a day the next book I have on my currently reading is Dead Ass Astronauts by Jeff Vandermeer, which is the sequel to Born. I read Born this summer. Um, <laughs> this book I put on my currently reading on July 2nd of this year. I still have not finished it. This is because I started reading it and Jeff Vandermeer is just like really you have to be in the right mood to read a Jeff Vandermeer book because it is just so out of left wing every time it is like you have to be 100% in it there can be no distractions you have to be 100% in the reading because if you miss even one thing like 300 pages down the line that one thing that you missed is going to be really incredibly important so that's Jeff Vandermeer and that's kind of how it is so because I wasn't like fully in it I put the book down and then I picked up a bunch of other books I don't know I I don't make the rules it just is what it is the next book I have on my currently reading is on autonomous by Annalie Newitt this says that I put it on my list on June 26th but I remember driving to my tattoo appointment before lockdown listening to the first 50% of this in February 
I think I listened to another like hour in June, which is why it's showing as June. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I listened to like an additional hour. So this is technically from February of 2020. This is a science fiction book set in like a really strange world. And we have multiple characters and one is like a drug pirate um, that like creates alternative drugs. And one is literally a robot. It's weird. It's weird. I like it, but it's weird. And I have every intention of picking up and finishing it, which you've already heard me say a million times. I want to finish it. I have to be in the right mood for it because it's weird. And when I was reading it, like listening to it on the way to my tattoo appointment, it was like, this book is weird. (laughs) And so I'm enjoying it. It's just like one of those things that it's like, I want to be in the right mindset in order to actually read this. And I just need to get there. Next book on my list, I added on June 17th, and it is The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. You guys know how much I love N.K. Jemisin. I started The City We Became, and then I don't know why I stopped. I think I I know what it was. I got into a huge reading slump right when I started this book, and I was trying to use this book as a way to push through my reading slump, and it was not working. It was not working, and I love N.K. Jemisin so much that I didn't want to half-ass reading one of her books because I was in a little bit of a reading slump. So I haven't picked it up since then. I really want to read it before the end of 2020, but I'm also working on N.K. Jemisin's other series, The Inheritance Trilogy, which is actually the next book on my currently reading, which I added on May 19th and I got it from the library on May 19th and I listened to 58% of it and then I did not get it back from the library until today. I'm not kidding. I literally just got it back from the library today. So I actually have started listening to this book again. I really want to finish this ASAP. I really enjoy it. Um, I love N.K. Jemisin's writing and a hundred th- The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms is really fantastic so far. I'm super excited to be finishing up this book and I'm so glad that I finally got my library copy of it back. The next book on my currently reading I added on May 15th and it's Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey. I'm gonna be honest guys I added this to my currently reading because somebody recommended it to me in my Twitch stream and I wanted to remember what it was and so I added it to my currently reading. I haven't started reading it yet. I have it downloaded on Scribd. I am going to listen to it. It is very short. I just haven't done it yet. I don't even know what it's about. It's just a bunch of people in my stream said I would really like it. Like I'm not even reading it. Why is it on my currently reading but I will be reading it so I'm not going to remove it from my currently reading because eventually I'll be reading it the next book I added on May 13th of this year and it's Grave Peril which is the third Dresden Files book ah y'all I'm having trouble with the Dresden Files I really liked the first one other than the writing problems the second one was a bit slower for me I'm literally 75% of the way through Grave Peril I just haven't picked it up I know once I pick it up I'll be like why did I put this down but do you ever have that circumstance where you know you're going to enjoy a book once you pick it up and it's just a matter of actually picking it up because same I know everybody says after the third book the Dresden Files gets so much better so I am going to push through and I am going to finish it the next time I get it from my library I'm actually gonna finish it I'm just waiting for my library rental to come back but this one this one was a bit of a slog for me i'm just really excited for where the dresden files goes then on april 15th i added the black prism by brent weeks onto my currently reading i had this on my currently reading for years like from 2014 to 2018 and then i guess at the beginning of this year i thought hey we're in quarantine maybe i'll finally read that book i'll I'll, i will read it eventually i have heard a lot of good things about it but why i'm so tricked you know what i do (laughs) i think i should really read this book and then i add it to my currently reading as if that's actually going to motivate me to read the book in this moment and then plot twist i don't you mean to say falsifying an actual urge to read something doesn't create an urge to read something? Who would have thought? Oh my god. Next book on my list, I added on April 12th. It's Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I'm actually in the process of reading this one, okay? I'm actually in the process of reading this one. I'm like 35% of the way through and I'm really loving it. It's very good. Weird. And it's a little bit slow at the moment. But I can see, I can see... I can see where it's going. It's got a weird kind of humor. It's a very dark world, but our main character has a really interesting, cool, awesome sense of humor. So it's very different from anything I've read, but I actually really enjoy it. So I will be finishing that. Then on March 19th, I added Starsight, which is the second book in the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. 
to my currently reading because I am currently reading it. I'm going to be honest. I listened to how much? Let's let's have a little gander about how much of that book that I've read. Let's just wait for the Audible app to open, shall we? Okay, so I have listened to, um, I would say about, okay, it started, dear God. Okay, <laughs> I listened to about 25 to 30% of it. And then I just stopped. <laughs> you ask Victoria, why are you like this? And I say, je ne sais pas. I don't know. Don't know. I'm going to finish that one too. By the end of 2020, because I'm supposed to read all Sanderson by the end of this year. <laughs> oh God. On December 21st of 2019, I added All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr to my TBR. Do you know why I did this? I can tell you exactly why I did this. I have no fucking intention of reading this book right now. Do you know why I added this to my TBR? Because... <laughs> Because I had just finished The Lovely War and I loved The Lovely War so much that I was like, I need to read more books like The Lovely War. And then I was like, I should read All the Light We Cannot See. I have that book on my shelf. And then I promptly added it to my currently reading and started reading something else. The next book on my list I added on December 18th of 2019, and it's Salvaged by Madeline Rue. I started this. I listened to about two hours of it. I liked the first two hours, but I didn't love it, so I put it down. I have every intention of going back to this because the concept of it was really interesting, and what I read did stick with me. I just haven't done it yet. Eventually I will. I can't tell you when. This is one of the ones that I should remove from my currently reading because I don't know when I'm going to read it. The next book I added on, oh god, oh my god. The next book I added on September 6th of 2018 and it's The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Do you know why I added this to my currently reading? Because I had just finished Circe and I loved Circe so much that I was like, I'm going to read The Song of Achilles right away. And then I started The Song of Achilles, really started enjoying it, but then I kept thinking about Circe. I put the Song of Achilles down, listened to Circe for a second time, and then delved into a different book. I do have every intention of reading the Song of Achilles because I love the story of Achilles and Patroclus, and they are gay. And I know it's about them being gay, but like, I don't know. I just haven't gotten to it yet, and I will eventually. <laughs> the next book I added on February of 5th of 2018, and it's Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I've read this book, so I don't know why I put it on my currently reading. I think I was doing a reread, so... But like there was like a whole stretch of time where I read books and I didn't add them to my Goodreads. So there's like a whole bunch of books that I've read. There's like a whole bunch of books that I've read that like I don't have <laughs> that I just don't have on my Goodreads because there was just a stretch of time where I was like, fuck Goodreads, um, which is nice whenever I figure out one of those books, what one of those books are at a rating and people are like, didn't you already read this? And I'm like, yeah, no, I did. <laughs> um, so anyways, I've read Neverwhere. Um, it was years and years and years and years and years and a very long time ago. So I feel like I was doing a reread in 2018. And then I guess because I got excited about a different book, I put it down because it was a reread. That's all I got for you. <laughs> That's it. And then the book that I have had on my currently reading that I'm just not going to remove for posterity's sake. I have had it on my currently reading since April 12th, 2017. And it is Honors Night by Rachel Bach. It is the the second book in the night trilogy whatever it's called here's the thing I loved the first book in this series it was called fortune's pawn and then honors night started and there was a memory loss plot line and I have struggled with the memory loss plot line the whole time that this book has been on my currently reading I know it's going to be fine and that the memory loss will stop but my god it was just so frustrating that I just put the book down and I haven't picked it up since maybe that'll be my goal before 2020 ends let's get honor night off of my currently reading. <laughs> Say it with me. Pick your oldest book on your currently reading in your Goodreads account and read it. That's it. That's what we all need to do for the last few months of this year. Take the oldest book on our currently reading and fucking finish it. Get it off of our currently reading. Anyways, I know this was a bit of a weird video. I just thought it would be fun to just like <laughs> point out how ridiculous it is, how many books I have on my currently reading, and also let you guys know where I'm at with all of the books that I'm currently reading. And so that you guys know that sometimes there are books on my currently reading that I might not be reading this very second. Anyways, that's that is everything from me for today. We will be back on Tuesday with another True Crime Tuesday video. Don't forget, I stream on Twitch three to four times a week. Um, it is twitch.tv slash Victoria Shaz. The link is just below. I would love it if you came and hung out with us. And that is everything from me for today. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.